it would do, child. Switch and tell put y'all on tune to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities. Like, but first, I need a little favorite done for y'all first. Please like, comment, subscribe to this video. Hit the notification bell as well. That'd be great. Search this channel and put y'all on tune to this story. Now, today, we will once again be talking about Little Dirk. This man had been apprehended in the month of October. This man was arrested in connection to the murder of a man known as Savia Robinson. This murder had taken place in the year of 2022, specifically in the month of August on the day of the 19th. Now, Savia Robinson was mainly known by the name of Little Pop and was a close relative to Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo, who was Savia Robinson's cousin, was present during the homicide attempt, which had taken the life of Savia. The two were in the city of Los Angeles when they would end up being followed by hitmen, allegedly hired by Little Dirk. Once the two would end up stopping at a gas station, the hitmen would end up unloading their weaponry and would ultimately take the life of Savia Robinson. Quando Rondo is assumed to have been the intended target when it came to this hit. As far as the intentions behind the murder attempt on Quando Rondo's life, which would end up taking his cousin, it is to be assumed that this is in connection to the unfortunate death of King Von, which would date all the way back to the year of 2020. Specifically in the month of November on the 6th, King Von would end up getting into a physical altercation with Quando Rondo. King Von had initiated the attack, having committed assault towards Quando Rondo. Once the chaotic situation had broke out, a close affiliate of Quando Rondo known as Little Tim would end up discharging his firearm at King Von and would end up taking his life. King Von was a very close friend to Lil Durk, matter of the fact he was a member of his OTF label, specifically only the family. Now moving forward to this current time period, Lil Durk along with five OTF members will end up being taken into custody in connection to the Los Angeles homicide. Lil Durk is currently suspected of having committed murder for hire. It is believed that he had hired the five OTF members to try to take Quando Rondo's life once he had found out about his whereabouts. Lil Durk is being said to have offered money and lucrative music opportunities in exchange for taking Quando Rondo's life. Delving further into details revolving around this case, the five OTF members are being said to have flown from Chicago to the state of California. Lil Durk allegedly had told the five OTF members not to purchase anything under his name, specifically while they were traveling and while they were in the state of California. However, details state that these OTF members had actually purchased their flights under an OTF card, which of course is Lil Durk's record label that he had founded, known as Only the Family. This will not be the final time that the OTF card will be of usage, as it was also used to purchase ski masks and hotel rooms for the OTF members to stay at. Two vehicles and firearms are being said to have been purchased in connection to the case. Lil Durk is also being said to have purchased his own private flight, separate from that of those of the other OTF members. He will bring one other OTF member alongside him, known as Kevon London Grant. So speaking of Lil Durk's close associate, Kevon London Grant, this man had made the decision to file for a motion in federal court. This man had made the decision to file the motion with the intent of protecting case evidence that could potentially be dangerous. Kavon London Grant's legal team had made a request for a protective order in this case. The legal team made sure to be vocal about their concerns that unregulated access to sensitive information could put those involved with this case in danger. Those that the legal team would suspect could be at risk would consist of victims, witnesses, defendants, and those that are prepared to testify. Kavon London Grant's attorney, known as Peter C. Swarth, can be quoted as saying, this case involves significant safety concerns regarding disclosure of names and personal identifying information of victims, witnesses, and defendants. The evidence that was brought up in court during the filing of motion will consist of autopsy reports, graphic crime scene photographs, and statements that were made by protected witnesses. Prosecutors believe that if this evidence is not carefully handled, then it could lead to intimidation or retaliation. Kavon London Grant's attorney made sure to be suggestive that the court of law prioritize limiting who has access to the evidence used in the case as it is one that is unpredictable. The rapper Lil Durk is currently charged with one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire resulting in death, one count of conspiracy and in addition being in possession, carrying and discharging firearms and a machine gun in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. The five other OTF members that were taken into custody in connection to this case in the month of October will consist of Keith Jones, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Austin Houston, David Brian Lindsay, and Kevon London Grant. Lil Durk is once again expected to appear in court to proceed with this case in the month of January starting in 2025. But yeah, I'll just go cap on this video. Let me know what y'all think of this in the comments. What do you guys think of Kevon London Grant having filed a motion to reduce and restrict who has access to the evidence used in this case? Do you guys think that he is reasonable or not? Do you guys think that Lil Durk really had any involvement with the hit carried out in the year 2022 by the OTF members? And to cap that out, do you guys believe that a sufficient amount of evidence could end up being provided against Lil Durk and OTF members? In upcoming court trials that could lead to them being convicted. Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out.
Rage on that beat, going crazy.